morning and welcome back to why in the morning it's entrepreneurship tuesday today my name is by moses or it's by one every social media platform and yes special thanks to Callum Eval for that amazing interview and uh, for the cakes that we had to taste after so good things happen when you watch y254 and today is not an exception we have ellen Mo helen mwangi who's the f uh, the founder of helmas uh, collection which is a menswear uh, fashion line now, Kwapa Studio, uh, could tell us the, more about the story, Karibu Sana. Asante Sana. All right, your camera is number four. Number four. Uh -huh. uh, so just in case I left anything, you can say it oh, about okay. yourself. Uh -huh. Okay, good morning, viewers. Uh -huh. My name is Helen Mwangi, uh -huh. the CEO and founder of Helmos Men's Collection. Uh -huh. We deal in menswear uh -huh. uh, from basically shirts, trousers, uh -huh. suits, uh -huh. shoes, anything to do with men. Right. That's what we deal in. Uh, it sounds more like gentleman for me. Yeah, gentleman, uh, yes. Because it's suits, uh, pants, mm -hmm. shoes. And I've checked out your Instagram, which uh, please share that with them so mm -hmm. they can see what you're about as we have this conversation. Your camera is still number four. Okay. Uh -huh. Our Instagram page is Helmas Men, Men's Collection. Helmas, Helmas Men's, Men's Collection. Collection. All right. And the Facebook page is the same. The Facebook Hel page Hel is Hel the Hel same. Men's Collection. All right. Yes. Uh, but you didn't start out uh, doing men's wear or men's fashion. Yes. Uh, how did it start out for you when you got into this fashion business? Mm, I started with handbags. Uh -huh, handbags. Ladies' I, handbags. Uh, ladies' handbags. handbags. Uh -huh. I did a bit of them for like one year, mm -hmm. but then I things changed. Mm -hmm. So I started doing men's wear. When you say things changed, uh, yes. what happened exactly? Um, uh -huh. the business in a few was, words. Uh -huh. Yeah, the business was good in the beginning, uh -huh. but with time, you know, fashion, especially for ladies, keeps uh -huh. changing. Uh -huh. and it's very I, dynamic. Yeah. yeah, it's very dynamic. Mm -hmm. So I decided I want to try mm -hmm. something else. Mm -hmm. I had this passion. I really loved handbags, mm -hmm. and I also loved seeing smart, smartly dressed men. Mm -hmm. So I said, um, now that handbags have not worked, mm -hmm. let me try the other one. Uh -huh. Let me try to make uh, more men uh, look smart so, yes. so my eyes can enjoy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yes. uh, before you get into this handbag business and yes. the men's mm -hmm. uh, business, mm -hmm. you were employed. Yes, I was employed. Mm -hmm. I was working as a waitress. You were working as a waitress. Yes. Uh, this was not satisfying to you. It was not because uh -huh. right from the beginning, uh -huh. even when I was starting the hotel uh, employment, mm -hmm. I knew that I want to go the business way. Uh -huh. That I knew from the word go. Uh -huh. So when time came, I had to transition. All right. Yes. What are some of the things you learned uh, during your tenure in, in employment mm -hmm. uh, that you carried with you into business? Creating networks, uh -huh. creating and maintaining uh -huh. proper networks, uh -huh. people that you can depend on uh -huh. in terms of maybe business. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I learned. Because creating and maintaining. Creating, creating is one thing, creating maintaining is, one thing, is another. Maintaining is another. Uh -huh. So I, I did both. Uh -huh. And I can tell you for sure, some of the clients I used to serve when I was still a waitress uh -huh. are the same, same men who buy from me to date. Wow. Yes. The networks that you created. So creating and maintaining networks is the biggest lesson yes. you've learned in this yeah. uh, business yeah. or as an employee. Yeah. All right. So uh, when you say creating and maintaining, mm -hmm. I, I know creating is uh, is simple, easier said than done. Yeah. Uh, uh, maintaining. maintaining. What is this maintaining you're talking about? Maintaining is just, just um, now how do you put it? This constant communication. Constant communication, mm -hmm. following up on them, uh -huh. knowing how they are faring, uh -huh. letting them know about your every step. Uh -huh. Like now, I let them know all of them. Actually, when I went to Kampala, uh -huh. the, because that's where I started, I, when I first bought the first batch of handbags, mm -hmm. it's the same men who bought from me mm -hmm. and ladies, because uh -huh. I had told them, uh -huh. I'm quitting employment, uh -huh. and after this, this is what I'm thinking of doing. Uh -huh. So... I called them, I told them the consignment is here. Uh -huh. Can you now promote me? Uh -huh. And they came and bought. Uh -huh. Yeah, and it was very nice. All right. Yes. So that is a big lesson we learned today. Creating mm -hmm. and maintaining uh, your networks is a very mm -hmm. important when you're getting into business. And uh, that is Helen Mwangi, the CEO and founder of Helen Moas right there. Yes. Uh, so uh, <coughs> moving forward, mm -hmm. uh, now that you are running the business, mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the, the, the things that you didn't expect? getting into business that you met and said i wish i knew i was going to meet some of these things these are what are some of the challenges the challenges there are many mm -hmm. there are many mm -hmm. 
Uh, because, like I've told you, I was a waitress. Mm -hmm. So there's no way I did, like, say, entrepreneurship or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. But when I got into business, the first few years were a bit difficult mm -hmm. because there are things I needed to have learned before uh -huh. I started the business. Uh -huh. But thank God, um, I joined an... What is it called? Um, I joined uh, an organization called uh -huh. Inter uh, Centonomy Entrepreneurship. Uh -huh. And that's where I started, I started entrepreneurship. Uh -huh. And the lessons I learned from there mm -hmm. are the same things I, th that I work with today. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. All right. What are some of these policies that you learned from Centonomy right there? Centonomy, I learned about like accounting. Uh -huh. I learned so accounting is very important. It's very Knowing how to manage your money. It's very key. Uh -huh. It's very key. Uh -huh. Also how to handle employees. Uh -huh. Also how to handle the customers. Uh -huh. Yeah, you have created them. Mm -hmm. The maintaining part t is wider. It's very large. Mm -hmm. So you have to know how to do it professionally. Uh -huh. Because you don't have to, go to travel, uh -huh. bring a consignment, mm -hmm. and keep pushing them, keep pushing them. Mm -hmm. In the process, if you don't do it professionally, mm -hmm. you're going to lose them. You're going to lose them. Yes. So you always have to do those things professionally. So yes. uh, three things I'm getting from yes. you. Uh, creating, yes. uh, maintaining yes. your networks. Yes. Knowledge is also uh, paramount, paramount yes. when you're getting into business. Yes. And you found yours at Centonomy yes. uh, and you studied entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. All right. How do you keep yourself uh, sharp? in the skills how do you maintain sharpness in the skills because a lot of research uh -huh. i do a lot of research mm -hmm. and then sometimes i spend time with my customers uh -huh. like i'll call them and ask ask like uh you know there are those who are friends mm -hmm. other than just customers mm -hmm. so we call them and we go like have coffee with them mm -hmm. and i ask the, i ask them now uh -huh. No, we are not at the shop. We uh -huh. are not doing biashara. Uh -huh. We are here. Uh -huh. Let me know. What do you think I can improve? Uh -huh. I can do to improve our services. Uh -huh. Yes. So and getting to talk uh, to the customers yes. and getting into their heads. Befriending them. Befriending them. Yes. The customer is always right. Yeah, they're always right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What are some of the needs uh, mm -hmm. of men uh, in Kenya when mm -hmm. it comes to fashion? What are some of the needs you've met uh, that you didn't know existed in the market? Okay, when mm -hmm. I started, mm -hmm. I thought uh, doing menswear business mm -hmm. is just clothing men. Mm -hmm. But then um, I, I realized mm -hmm. that uh, there was need for quality. Mm -hmm. Like I told you, the handbags business, mm -hmm. I started from Kampala. Mm -hmm. But then when I started, uh, when I, I, I transitioned into menswear, mm -hmm. I started from Gikomba. Mm -hmm. My capital was 7,000 mm -hmm. by that time. Because mm -hmm. the other business... Mm -hmm. Uh, didn't go down didn't well. Go well. It mm -hmm. didn't go well. Mm -hmm. So I was left without any money. Mm -hmm. The only savings I had is 7,000. Mm -hmm. So I went to Gikomba. Mm -hmm. I bought mm -hmm. some clothes, mm -hmm. came and they sold. Mm -hmm. Then I went to Isli mm -hmm. for like within one, the, the first one year of mm -hmm. menswear business. Uh -huh. I went to Gikomba and I went to Isli. Uh -huh. Then I learned that it's not just about clothes. Uh -huh. It's not, not just about covering the nudity. Uh -huh. There is more to doing the business than just Clothes. Covering the body. Yeah, covering the body. Uh -huh. So uh, that's uh, when I realized that I need to improve in terms of quality. Mm -hmm. When you're talking quality, we are mm -hmm. talking fabrics. Yeah. Uh, the type yeah. of fabrics that you pick. The fabric. Uh -huh. The, the, the way they are cut, uh -huh. yeah, the like you know, like you, you can't wear a baggy jeans, uh -huh. you need a slim fit one, <laughs> right. yes, and a nicely fitting uh -huh. top, mm -hmm. yeah. So, those are the lessons that you learn mm -hmm. along the way. So, the cuts, the, mm. th the threads, the, mm. the finishing, yeah. Yeah. the fabric, it's yes. more than just covering the body, it's not when it's it comes to the fashion, exactly. Business. Yes, all right. I yeah. see your Instagram is projected on our screen right here. Yes. Uh, I'd like to. I'd like us to go through it, uh, but your bio says we are located at stores, ground floor, market, market stalls. stalls, ground yes. floor, shop A9. A9. Market stalls is between City Market and Jamia Mosque right yeah. there. Uh, our shop is the first one from the mosque. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so, yes, mm -hmm. uh, the first one is, uh, I like the colors in the first picture right there. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one is also very interesting. Thank so you. So apart from posting, oh, I, I see you pinned your location. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's supposed to. So <laughs> yeah, you can see it. The street is there. Yeah, uh, this can, Kigali Road. Uh -huh. Yes. And you've circled. That's a very good way to fill your location on Instagram. Thank That's a good you. idea. Thank you so much. All right. So apart from just posting what you're mm -hmm. selling, mm -hmm. I see you post uh, some tips on how to 
to uh, to Even drop dress. these suits. Even Just hold it right there. Hold it right there. Back, 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 back. <laughs> this picture with a tick XX. Yes. So you give guys tips on how how to dress themselves, how to how to rock these suits. Yes, that's why I'm telling you, uh -huh. it's not just about making money. Uh -huh. It's not just just about covering the body. Uh -huh. It's about even giving them tips on how to wear the suit. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to buy a suit at twenty five thousand, uh -huh. at thirty thousand. Uh -huh. You buy an oversized one. Uh -huh. You buy one that is not fitting well. Uh -huh. You need to look. The parts. All right, the two yes. X's. I, um, the, the tick is all right. The yes. two X's. Mm. X number one is something I see quite often. <laughs> it seems you don't like it at all. No. Uh, this is not the way to do it. This is not the, not the way to do it. Uh -huh. No. This is not no. the way to do it. No, this is X for... number two is, <laughs> is from 1995, I bet. You wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So tips also, uh, if I follow your page, I can get... I, I, I don't necessarily have to have to buy. Yeah. Sometimes I just get tips on how I can look fresh. Yes, yes, And this yes. is something you get uh, pleasure off. Mm -hmm. All right. I see you sharing your your contact information as well. Exactly. And uh, mm. shirts right there yes. also. So mm. you deal in shirts also and shoes as well. Yeah, we deal in everything. All right. Everything. Socks? Socks, yes, we have. Uh -huh. We have plain ones. We have happy socks. Uh -huh. Any that you like. All right. Yeah. So uh, happy socks and suits. What do you think about happy socks and suits? Do they go together? Yeah. It depends. Mm -hmm. There are suits that are not so formal. Mm -hmm. Like you can get a suit with a fabric like maybe sailing and mm -hmm. that is okay or mm -hmm. uh, almost jeans like. Mm -hmm. But there are those ones that are cut to to measure. Formal, yes, <laughs> formal, formal, a hundred percent formal, uh -huh. yes. So those ones can never go with a happy socks. Mm, no, it, right. but it depends. All the right. colors too. It matter. depends when yeah. it comes to fashion. Yes. Uh -huh. mm. there, there are a lot of it depends. Uh, mm. Your Instagram is looking quite uh, picturesque right there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Remind them the handle. Uh, your Instagram. Remind them your Instagram handle. Helmos uh -huh. Men's Collection. Helmos is H E L M W A S Men's Collection. Helmos yes. Men's Collection right yes. there. You can get tips as well. Mm. You can get to see uh, mm. the suits and the designs. I see uh, your son's. Uh, your son is in the building with us today. Yes. All right. Uh, how old is he? First. He's sixteen. He's sixteen now. Yes. So I'm guessing when you're starting the business, he was mm. around already. Yeah. All right. How was it balancing motherhood and this? Wow. It's uh -huh. about planning yourself. It's not easy, but you have to plan yourself. Uh -huh. Yes, my friends say that I'm very time conscious. Uh -huh. And yeah, you have to, to be time conscious. Uh -huh. This is a trait you've carried with mm, you. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. All right. Mm. Time, is it time conscious like yourself? Yes. He has <laughs> no not choice. Told. He has no <laughs> choice. He doesn't have a choice. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so we have a question on our Facebook today. Yes. And uh, the question is simple. What are some of the bad habits you've seen entrepreneurs have or carry with them and uh, costing them their businesses? Number one, mm -hmm. and it really hurts me. Uh -huh. I wish I had control over that. Uh -huh. Is when someone t says uh -huh. that they have gotten their suits from say Turkey uh -huh. or Italy uh -huh. and it's not true. Uh -huh. So you find uh -huh. a customer will go buy they they they, 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 they buy expecting uh -huh. you know if you buy a suit at twenty five thousand uh -huh. or at twenty or maybe at thirty thousand uh -huh. and you buy another one from uh, like say at seven thousand uh -huh. the the quality is not the same. The quality is different, even the obviously. durability uh -huh. This one is not likely to last. Uh -huh. The same with is going to last. Even how it looks, how it feels. Even the way it looks and how it feels. Uh -huh. So the customers are duped. Uh -huh. You find a customer buying and, you know, he will even tell his friends, uh -huh. ah, this is a very nice one. I bought it. Uh -huh. She gets her stuff from Turkey. She gets her stuff from Sijuwe. Uh -huh. It's very wrong. It's very wrong. Just be so honest. So lying is, is, is a it's, very... It, it, it's bad. It's one habit that uh, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs have. have. Uh -huh. yes. And they should not carry with them. No. It's very I, bad. I really don't like all right, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that for sure. When we asked this question, it was the furthest from my mind. Tell mm -hmm. me another thing that you've seen entrepreneurs carry with them and it's likely to cost them. Basically, lies mm -hmm. and dishonesty. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot lie for a very long time. Mm -hmm. 
within a very short time, you're gonna get the caught. truth will come out. Uh, the truth you're gonna will get... always going to come out. <laughs> yes. All right. So lying is one thing. Yes. Uh -huh. Number two, overpricing. Overpricing. Yes. All right. Let customers get value for their money. Uh -huh. Yes. Let your clients get value for their money. Mm -hmm. That is very key. Because I can con you today because I, I'll, allow me to call it conning. Because mm -hmm. it's a con anyway. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'll, not, I'll not get away with it. Uh -huh. Within a very sh in, in any case, mm -hmm. I'm not, we are not the only people who are doing this. Mm -hmm. Clothes are everywhere. Mm -hmm. If it is a salon, salons are everywhere. Uh -huh. If it is a butchery, butcheries mm -hmm. are everywhere. So we are always going to have alternatives. We are always going so to have alternatives. So if we sense a con, we are going to go to the next place. Yeah, and so it is wrong mm -hmm. to imagine that the only men's clothes that you, I mean, men's clothes shop that you visit is mm -hmm. Elmoas. Uh -huh. There are so many others. Uh -huh. And within a very short while, uh -huh. you're going to get caught. You know? <laughs> so conning, uh, the con is something you can stand yes, in business. Yes. All right, thank you very much uh, for that, for sharing that view with us uh, that I didn't even have. Remember, the question is on our Facebook. It's simple. Uh, what are some of the bad habits you've seen uh, entrepreneurs uh, carry with them and are likely to cause them? So head straight to our Facebook and answer that question. Then we'll be sampling your views uh, towards the end of the show. But uh, for now, tell me, what is the future uh, with Helmos? With Helmos. Mm -hmm. Where do you see it and how do you see it in the future? Our biggest dream. Uh, you're, 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 a, you're a big dreamer, I can tell. <laughs> All right. Yes. Just share it's, that with it's, us. It's, it's uh, a bit big because... Uh -huh. I am tired of traveling. Uh -huh. I'm tired of going to all those countries. And I feel mm -hmm. bad when I go and, you know, I bring goods from wherever. Mm -hmm. I come, make some money, mm -hmm. then take that money to another country. Uh -huh. I feel bad about that. Uh -huh. I should grow my country. Uh -huh. So my, 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 my desire uh -huh. is to plant a factory uh -huh. in Kenya uh -huh. that can produce the same quality uh -huh. of clothes that we are selling. Uh -huh. So that is where Helmos is headed. God wow. willing. Thank you very much for that. And I like uh, the vision that you have. Okay. And I like that it, uh, it puts the interests of this country uh, yes. right at the center of it. Uh, her and creating employment. Creating employment, uh -huh. yes. Growing our economy. Growing our economy yes. and whatnot. Thank you very much for coming through to I in the morning. We appreciate you. Share with them your details and how they can get uh, to access your services if okay. they'd like to. Your camera is still number four. Thank you. Mm -hmm. As I said, mm -hmm. we are called Helmoas Men's Collection. Mm -hmm. We are located at Market Stalls, Ground Floor, Shop A9. Market Stalls is between Jamia, Jamia, Mo, Jamia Mosque and City Market. Mm -hmm. Or just opposite taskies. Mm -hmm. Our shop is the first one from the mosque. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Our number, our, official, our business number is 0721-466-257. Again, our number, business number is 0721-466-257. Call us for wedding suits. Mm -hmm. Call us for event suits. Mm -hmm. Call us for shirts. Call us for company wear. Mm -hmm. Anything that you need right. to do with menswear. Thank you very Thank much. You. If you are planning to upgrade your wardrobe, uh, you have it. I said I'd, uh, I was going to do you that favor. So we have uh, Helen Wangi from Helmwas, and she deals in gentlemen's wear right there. So if you're planning to upgrade your wardrobe, as I said, you can always hit her up on her social media handles and the number. Uh, so uh, my name is Barry Mosses, or it's Barry Moore on every social media platform. And remember, we have a question on Facebook, and we are going to be sampling your views, your comments uh, towards the end of the show. And it's basic, it's, uh, it's simple. Uh, we are asking what are some of the bad habits entrepreneurs carry with them and are likely to cost them. Tell us uh, on our Facebook, but you can also interact with us on the other social media platforms. Or you can hit me up directly at It's Barry Morning. Every social media platform will be back with some more of Why in the Morning. Don't go nowhere.